It's concrete. It's like a tombstone. It's done. You can't get rid of it. You can't change it. It is what it is. So keep it moving. Think about now. Focus on now. Take the lessons from the past. Yes, definitely. One of the lessons I, I have now was that I wish that I could have been a better listener to my brothers or to some of my friends. And they're no longer here. They're no longer alive. So my lesson now is if I have the capability to listen to someone, I'll listen to them. Now, I'm a type A. I'm in your face. I have no problems to tell someone to fuck off. Even though that still does come out of me time to time. Uh, I try to refrain myself and just try to listen to what's the situation and how, how we can resolve it without a high level of stress or confrontation. But some situations will warrant it. There's other situations where I felt like I was a little too soft and I should have fucking hammered the fucker as quickly as possible to get them off my back. I wish I should have done that from the get-go and set that standard rather than waiting till I blew up and actually made everyone f fearful. It happens. It what it is. What it is. But you got to keep it going. And you got to keep it moving. Don't dwell on the past. Don't worry about the future. Think about right now and what you can do. When you are fully present, you're not wasting your life. You're experiencing it. So get to it. Now, working too much and feeling burned out is one I struggle with all the time. When you're working, when you're overworking yourself. You have no time for rest. You don't have time for your family. You, you don't have time for your friends. You're missing out on a lot of things in life. And it's not worth it to waste your life for a job that will replace you as soon as you die or as soon as you leave. So, yes, work hard. Build that reputation. Build that skill set. But make sure you save a little bit. Save a percentage for your family. Save a percentage for your homies. Save a percentage for your hobbies and yourself. Now, I get it with people that are hungry. And they're going to make shit happen. I'm in that phase right now. So I'm running an eight-figure real estate business. I'm actually jumping into another venture, which is a vending machine business.